welcome. I am today 28 weeks pregnant. <laughs> and um, I'm getting so big. Oh my goodness. I already gained 30 pounds. It's so sad to look at the scale every morning. But I, I, I feel really good. And I know my baby is healthy because he's moving a lot. Um, and it's really cute that sometime I would talk to him and he would stop his movement or sometime I would ask him to kick and he would kick and it's super adorable. So if you are pregnant and on this journey, congratulations. And I very excited and really, really happy for you. So you see the title, I pass my glucose test. Yay! So what to expect today? I want to share my glucose test journey so that if you're getting one, you know what to expect. So the glucose test is the test that you have to take between 24 and 28 weeks. And I have to tell you, I was so nervous and because I heard a lot of stories from a lot of mom in the past that failed the glucose test. So you have two tests, you have one hour test, they're gonna give you a sugary drink, you drink it, and then after an hour, you have to wait for an hour, they draw your blood, and you get your result the next day. For me, I got my result the next day. Um, I have my insurance with Kaiser. If you fail that test, you will have to come back for a three hour test. And for the one hour test, you don't have to fast. You can still eat and drink and do everything normal before you come into the test. But for the three hour test, I heard, and with the instruction my doctors sent me, you have to fast for eight hours. You can only allow to sip on water. And then they give you the sugary drink and you would sit there and wait for three hours and every hour they will draw your blood when i was there for my one hour test there was a woman was there for her three hour test and she told me obviously she failed the first one this is her second child um, with her first child same thing she failed the one hour test you have to come back for three hour test but the only thing that really tiring about this three hour test that because of the fasting and if you're pregnant you understand how hungry it is all the freaking time especially when you're closer to your third trimester so the poor woman was fast for eight hours she was sitting there for another three hours without eating anything they only gave her the sugary drink with 50 grams of sugar and then get poke several times and she said she's just so hungry and tired so i passed for my one hour test so i'm so glad that i didn't have to come back for the three hour test so here is what to expect it's pretty funny when i was speaking to my doctor at my 24 weeks checkup and i shared with my doctor that i hear horror story uh, about the drink that they're going to give you at the glucose test like it tastes terrible you can't even drink it some woman just like throw up right after so i'm scared and the dog my doctor said that's okay you can actually have jelly beans as long as you have 50 gram of sugar and just make sure you tell the people at the test site that you already consult with your doctor so what did i do I obviously went out the day before and bought a bag of jelly beans. And then, <laughs> this is really funny. I don't like a certain flavor. So we bought the combination one that have all the flavor. And you know, like in the back of the, in the back of the bag, they tell you like which flavors and the colors and stuff. So I don't like a lot of flavors. So when we got home, my husband would just put them all in a plate and then I get to pick out all the one that I love and then he get to eat all the flavor that I don't like. <laughs> and then I think I was calculating um, according to the bags how much sugar in each one. So we're calculating 
exactly 50 grams of sugar. I think it was a little bit more like 55 grams of sugar. And then I have it in the bag. I have it in my bag, ready to go for the next day. And the next morning, obviously, um, is a lab test, so I can come into the lab every day. I wanted to come in early because um, I don't want it to have too much food in my body and then, you know, going to mess with the tests or whatever. But we, my husband and I do go to the gym really early. We go to the gym around 5.30, 6 a.m. And as soon as I get up, I would have my lemon water and then I have my protein shake, go to the gym, gym come back, have my eggs, my protein drinks and my soups and stuff like that and then on that day i just have to crave freaking coffee so i did have a very sweet coffee before i went into testing and i think i was eating something sweet as well that's morning and then i was so mad at myself because i'm like oh my god i'm having too much sugar in my system it's gonna mess up the test and i'm gonna fail but i went to the test site with my jelly beans i waited in line and they call my name and they said you're here for your glucose test and i said yes they gave me a sugary drink and it's orange orange flavor and they said this is the drink that you need to drink drink it and then wait an hour you have to sit here you cannot leave and then you go get your test your blood test and I asked them that, hey, I consult with my doctor, and my doctor said I can have 50 grams of sugar of jelly beans instead of drinking this nasty drink. Can I do that? And the tech just looks very confused. And he was like, no, I, 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 I don't know. There's, there's no alternative. You have to drink the drink. And I was so sad because I went through all this work, buy my jelly beans, picked out the one I wanted and then now I don't get to eat them. So I have to drink the drink in front of the tech. So uh, he made me open the cap and take a sip. And he has, he said, you have five minutes to finish it. So you watch me take the first sip and then he time it to be an hour. So that's what I did. Take a first sip. The drink was actually pretty good. <laughs> It's so funny. You have all these women online that said, oh my God, the drink was so thick. It was so gross and it's terrible. It was good. It was kind of like Fanta flavor and it's orange and it's a little bit carbonated, which I don't really like carbonated drink, but this one just had the right amount. So, and it's cold. It's pretty refreshing. <laughs> so I was pretty happy. Um, so obviously I drink the drink and then I sat down and wait for an hour. And it's funny because I have the jelly beans in my bag and the whole time I was like hungry and waiting really long. So I'm like, maybe I should have like a couple of jelly beans, but I didn't want to mess up the test. So I didn't have any. So after an hour, they will call you in to get your blood test. So I went in after an hour, they got my blood test, and that was it. When I was there, my doctor actually ordered a urine test. So after I drink the drink, the tech said, if you need to go to the bathroom, just you know put your pee in this cup for the test. But there was another mom that told me, when she do her glucose test, she couldn't go to the bathroom for an hour, for the whole hour. They told her that she could not go. So I don't know what's a different, if you go to a different provider, I have Kaiser, and they didn't say anything about not going to the bathroom. So I was able to go pee or do whatever that I wanted to do, but I just have to stay in the room. I cannot leave or go to the parking lot. So when I got home, I was so nervous and with Kaiser we have the app and you can go into the app and you can see all the tests and literally every like two four hours I would check the app to see if there's a test result that comes so we have the urine test result the different blood test result um, and the glucose has never came <laughs> so the next day I checked again early morning and it didn't come 
I, again, went to the gym, tried to forget about it. And I think around 8 a.m., it came. And I was at the perfect level. Like, look at this. This is the perfect, like, right in the middle. I was so happy. And I was telling my husband, and he said, of course, I know you would pass. Genuinely, I think I'm, the, I'm a pretty healthy person. I eat pretty healthy. I exercise. Before pregnancy, I was not into sweet. So if you give me like a piece of candy or like a piece of cake, I'll have a bite and I'm good. Like I don't, I don't need more sugar. And it's not because like I'm trying to be on a diet. It's just it too much for me, too sweet. But since I got pregnant, I love sweet. Oh my gosh. This baby loves sweet. I hope it's going to be a very sweet baby. Anything with sugar, it has to be extra sugar. Like if I have a dessert, it needs to be extra sugar. <laughs> so that's why I was so worried about the glucose test. But I'm so glad that I passed. So if you are between 24 and 28 weeks and you're about to take your glucose test, don't worry. You don't have to pass. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. You don't have to fast so you can just drink and eat like normal the morning off um, and then the sugary drink that they give you is actually really refreshing so don't worry about other people say how nasty it is it's it's really good so my phone died on me yesterday and i was too tired to record the last of the videos so i was literally <laughs> When it's die, I was literally talking to a dark screen. Anyways, um, so if you are pregnant, good luck on your journey and good luck on your glucose, glucose test. All right, thanks for watching.